What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave. Uh, this is uh, the first commentary for fictional fights, and this is going to be exciting. Hold on, let me turn it down. <laughs> well, it won't turn down for you. It just turned down for me because it's a bit too loud. I can't hear myself talking, and I, end I tend to get tongue twisted when that happens, like I just did there. So, this is going to be an episode of me basically talking about my thought process on picking the results, or like what I was thinking while making the episode. Uh, just, you know, just whatever. Just whatever went into the process of making the episode. So that's how the commentaries are gonna go. Just the process, like before and after. And I have to say that this is probably, like, this is probably the most biased episode there will ever be of fictional fights because Jin is my favorite fictional character of all time and he ended up winning. I'm not saying that um, if I wasn't biased then Ryu would win. I'm not saying that because uh, Jin is actually a lot stronger than I thought. Like even after making this episode, I found something else, thanks to classic game guys, that makes Jin like even stronger. Like Ryu is like city level, thanks to evil Ryu. And Jin is like large mountain level, which is much higher than city level. <clears throat> but uh, classic game guys, the guys behind Fatal Fiction, actually showed me a feat that basically makes Jin a uh, country level, or large country level as they put it. I think that's a bit too much, because, I mean, even though I'm biased towards Jin, I don't think he's large country level. But in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, the Jack Robot destroyed a meteor that could have wiped out the dinosaurs. Like, it was the size of the one that could have wiped out the dinosaurs, and Jin is, like, much superior to the Jack Robots. So Jin, like, would probably destroy that meteor like it was nothing, even though it broke the Jack Robot. So, that makes Jin much higher than Mountain Level, so I'm very pleased to hear that. But, I don't think it's large country level, I mean, come on. It's not like he actually withstood the full impact of an explosion of the asteroid. So, yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much about how this was a little biased because I like Jin much more than Ryu. Don't get me wrong, I like Ryu, he's a cool guy. But, he, I mean, if you look at it, Jin basically wins this anyways. Jin has a barrier that has no defined limit yet. I mean, he also has lasers, which Ryu does not have. Ryu has the Hadouken, which Kazuya casually blocked in his trailer for Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Like, the Hadouken doesn't even matter to Kazuya. <laughs> Kazuya is so cool. So, I mean, no offense to anyone who likes Street Fighter and Ryu or anything, Ryu is definitely strong, but nowhere close to Jin. Like, even if I liked Ryu more, there's no way I'd be able to find a way for Ryu to win. Like, even if I wanted, with all of my brain and heart, for Ryu to win, there, I just wouldn't be able to find a way. Also, this episode took the longest to make because I wrote the longest script for this one. A script of a length that I will never write again. Not only because it was torture for my host, but also because it was torture for me to have to edit all this. I mean, doing this, like, this amount of editing, like, every three weeks, when the host and co-host stand in lines only a couple days before it goes up is, would be too much. <laughs> also, this is our first, last, and only episode with Solmus Seek as Vic. He, uh, unfortunately, he could not uh, do the rest of the series. I was talking to him on Skype, and I won't reveal any personal information, but his reasoning was that he just couldn't. He couldn't, like, he lost the voice for Vic, and I asked if he'd, like, if he'd like me to take over for him for the Rayman vs. Spyro episode, and maybe he could come back for Danny vs. Jake, and he just said he just couldn't. So, sadly, he had to leave, he had to um, resign as Rick, I mean, Rick, not Rick, Vic. He had to resign as Vic, sadly. And even though I'm playing Vic now, and for the rest of the series, probably, Soul Mystique will always be Vic. So go subscribe to his channel, the link to it will be in the description. So the link to our host, Haru. Haru is our host, or Hira, as he goes in the series. Uh, both of their links to their channels are in the description below. Show Soul and Haru some love. 
They are fantastic host and co-host. Soul Mystique will always be Vic. I'm just like some Vic clone. Like some Vic clone that was made in a lab. Because the real Vic went off to fight space aliens and stuff. I'm just a clone. A temporary clone. Or a, a permanent clone or something. <laughs> so I am not the real Vic. I'm like a hologram or something. So that way if I make Haru mad and he wants to punch me, he can't because I'm a hologram. <laughs> Also, this one seemed kind of like, uh, Vic at first seemed kind of like a boomstick ripoff, because I did, I did in fact use some jokes, like, I didn't like blatantly steal the jokes, I just kind of like had the jokes in my head because I watched the episodes where, uh, boomstick made those jokes recently, <laughs> and, I don't know, they just kind of stuck and I'm like, hey, I should use that for some reason, because that'll be a good idea and no one will ever catch on to that. But everyone caught on to it. So lucky me. <laughs> and also, another reason why I'm not doing scripts this long is because I also tried to, like, drag it out so it lasts longer with jokes and stuff. The joke, me trying to drag out jokes does not work. Like, some people can do it, uh, but I cannot. Like, my writing style... Uh, with my writing style, the jokes have to be this, 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 like set up and then tell the joke right after the setup. Don't build up, build up, build up, and then drop the joke. Like there was one part in Ryu, like, like Ryu's thing, it was supposed to be like poking fun about how Screwtech sometimes labels it like insane feats of characters, and then does it explain how or why they can do that? Like if they did a Katara episode, and they forgot to mention that Katara could only bloodbend during a full moon. Like, if they forgot that, that's basically what I was poking fun at. But it didn't even seem like a joke, it just sound, sounded like Haru was not explaining anything, and it was... It just ended up really cringeworthy. Like, I think, I think all the episodes until Krillin vs. Hihachi had something that made them cringeworthy. <laughs> Like this, it was probably that joke, like, in Ryu's section, it, that was the cringeworthy part. In Rayman vs. Spyro, uh, I don't remember what it was that made it cringeworthy. I think it was the fight. Like, it was my first time narrating the fight because we do not have animators, we need animators. And so I decided to narrate the fight because someone suggested it to me. Uh to narrate the fights instead, so I did that, and that was pretty cringeworthy the first time. Then Danny versus Jake. Oh, the cringeworthy part was when I dressed up as Danny and pretended to throw like a fake rage fit and threw a chair around to make fun of all the fanboys that were going to be raging, because I knew that was going to happen. Oh boy, I can't wait till we get to that episode commentary. And then Ty versus Crash, the cringeworthy moment was when... I did that really bad fake Australian accent, but Krillin vs. Hihachi, it didn't have any cringeworthy moments, so I was happy. I guess the animation could be cringeworthy, but not really, because, I don't know, I worked hard on the animation, give me a break, I'm not good. I'm never admitted to being good. And wow, Jin's section is still not over, I am never making a script this long again. Ugh, this was our first episode. I did think that joke was pretty funny though, like when I mentioned the soldier bleeding, and he's like, let's hear his last words, and then his last word was, crap, he died with dignity. <laughs> I think that was probably my favorite joke throughout this whole episode, I don't know why. I just found it funny like when I first played Tekken 6 as well, and I got to that part where I, I forgot the dude's name. Tekken is so bad with like character like side character development it's not good like you have the Mishima family you have people who are close to them like Huarong and Xiaoyu and Jun you got all those developed characters but then you have the side characters like Brian, Yoshimitsu, Law, Pa uh, and others like that who are just not as developed I mean King is actually pretty developed like him and Marduk their little situation going on that's pretty de uh, good development Street Fighter! Alright, we're at Ryu's part now. Uh, 
I have, I'm not the biggest fan of Street Fighter. I mean, I do enjoy it, like, casually, but it's not a very competitive game. You basically just mash buttons to win. In Tekken, button mashing will get you horribly punished. But in Street Fighter, you just do it and you win. I think I actually won, like, my first three matches online on Street Fighter. Just by button mashing. And it was just, it was just that easy. <clears throat> and because I was uh, more interested in Jin, with Ryu, I kind of didn't make his analysis as long. I mean, I tried to, but I was just like, uh, there's nothing interest super interesting I want to point out. Because, in case you didn't know, despite how much like Street Fighter TV shows, anime, whatevers, and movies, and blah blah blah, the games themselves don't have a lot of content story-wise. Like, Street Fighter is still very small on story. Like, Tekken in its first three games has more story than Street Fighter's had in, like, its entire series. It's crazy. So, trying to drown out, trying to drag out Ryu's story. Because most of the story doesn't involve Ryu. It's like Goken and Akuma and Oni and all that stuff. Ryu's sort of like the hero that falls into everything. So it's kind of, it's kind of odd. <clears throat> I'm going to take a small pause because I cannot think of anything to say. I'll probably just hum a bit. Oh, I can't wait till we get to the easier episodes. Uh, we're already at the, we're not even at the fight yet. And it's already longer than uh, Krillin versus Hayachi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a charge in my attack. Oh yeah, and one thing is, if I was doing this entire series by myself, I'd probably be able to pump out an episode, like, every couple days. Because, I mean, if I didn't research the episodes, if I didn't, like, research for anything and I just did a... Oh, let's talk about their powers and talk about their powers. Let's ignore how they use them. And just, duh, this would win because he's stronger. No other research. He j his statistics are just higher, so he automatically wins. Which is not the case all the time. I mean, some of the time it is, but not all the time. Like, if I did Green Arrow versus Hawkeye... Like, Hawkeye is stronger, but for some reason I still feel like Green Arrow would win. Like, I mean, I want Hawkeye to win, obviously. Hawkeye's cool. And I mean, he did win in the death battle, but I don't know, something about green arrows, just like, mm. Like, his arrows just seem weirder, and more perfect for fighting Hawkeye. I don't know, it's just, it's just odd. <clears throat> but yeah, if, I, if there was no research, and I did this whole thing by myself, I'd be able to pump out these episodes, like, every few days. Because believe it or not, even though this episode did take forever to edit, it only took a day to edit. Like, it took all day, but it was still just a day. But, then again, I did have, like, all the footage collected. I had to... Um, I had to do the animation beforehand. It's not like I did the entire animation in a day. Oh, goodness knows. But, yeah. It only takes a day to edit these. Whoa, look at that Shin Shinku Hadouken! Yeah! Mmm, I can't think of anything to talk about. The episode's too long. This is why I can't write episodes this long. Help me, help me, someone help me. Oh, uh, we're almost there. Oh, this... This joke was pretty good, too. <laughs> this joke about the spiders, that was pretty cool, too. <laughs> Making fun of his segways. Ugh. We're so close to the end. Please. Ugh, this is... Mm. Uh, guys, I don't know what to talk about. I've pretty much gone over everything. I guess I could go do the process beforehand. Like, making fictional fights, I didn't think the episode would come out this soon. Like, it came out, like, maybe a week and a half after I set up the thing looking for help because I did get help for researchers and actors right away 
But of course, animation I had to do myself. There are so little animators. I really need animation help. But, 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 butts, butts. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Um, but, but, I, I lost my train of thought. Mmm. Mmm. This is going to be my least favorite episode by the end of all this. Oh, thank goodness we're finally getting to the fight. <laughs> Alright. My awful animation. Uh, oh, clicky click. Uh, there we go. Uh, this is Long Live the Lion King as Ryu. My audio was lay, lay lower. Lay, way lower than his at the very beginning, which is kind of odd. But yeah, me punching Long Live the Lion King, haha, <laughs> get wrecked, scrub. Ow, and then he's shoryukening me. Shoryukening. Ow. Shoryukened. So yeah, as you can tell, this fight's animation is not impressive. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool at first, I'm like, <laughs> Whoa, I animated, wow, I'm such a boss. <laughs> I bet Ego Raptor's jealous of me. <laughs> Uh, and then we got the infamous Devil Jin surviving the Raging Demon, which I still totally think could happen. Because of his soul-protecting mummy. Unless he could just spread his wings and fling Ryu off. I mean, his- just spreading his wings, like, caused an entire wasteland to, like, be destroyed in his Tekken 5 Devil Jin ending, so I don't see why his wings couldn't throw Ryu off. And there's Ryu. Looks like Ryu didn't make the cut! Looks like Ryu didn't make the cut! Looks like Ryu didn't make the cut! Ooh, this matchup was not an interesting one. We knew who was gonna win from the start. Jin. Like, I think Jin would be able to handle characters stronger than him as well. Just because of his barriers and uh, his telekinesis and stuff, like his powers have some weird properties. Uh, let's see. Let me think of a character who's probably way stronger than Jin. I wouldn't say Goku. I don't know. Goku did get wrecked by a laser, but <laughs> so, uh, Jin would be good for off guard Goku. <laughs> Um, uh, Sasuke maybe? Like, Sasuke from Naruto. He's... He's stronger than Jin. I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna hold it back. He's definitely stronger than Jin. But... Jin's moves have such bizarre properties. I think he'd be able to work around what Sasuke can do. Because, I mean, Sasuke... His, his moves require, like, Chi or Chakra. Which is basically just Ki. Like ninja key, you know, natural energy, not anything supernatural or bizarre or anything like that. And I know Sasuke does have like a curse, demon, whatever. But Jin, I don't know, his supernatural stuff and properties, it just seems to fit better. And I think I'll cut it here because this is just me talking about how I need an animator. So thanks for watching. Bye.